27-year-old Madison Barato is about to embark on the adventure of a lifetime, a one-way trip to Mars. We decided to meet up with Barato at the David Dunlop Observatory, just outside of Toronto in Richmond Hill, to find out exactly why she wanted to leave behind her friends and family to go to space. I applied for the Mars One project for my sister. Um, a year ago, she, she died, and she was my only sibling. Um, we were incredibly close. And when I stumbled upon this Mars One website, I thought, wow, here's my chance to become something greater than myself because my life will never be the same again. How am I preparing for the trip to Mars? By doing a lot of things. When I walk down the street now, I take notice of little things like fruit stands and the people I pass. And in a way, I'm kind of saying goodbye to them and at the same time embracing what the future has to hold and thinking about my time here on Earth, but also thinking about what my time on Mars will be like and how my life will play out as a whole. Leaving my family and friends will be incredibly hard, but I also know that they're going to be very supportive of me and understanding, and they'll realize that as much as my life's important, this advancement of our species is equally important, and I could be one of the first pioneers. And Hopefully they get internet up there and the Skype comes to, into play and I can message them and keep in contact with them and let them know that I love them just as much as they love me and I'll miss them just as much every day. According to the Mars One Project, over 77,000 people have applied to go to space and will be subjected to severe isolation tests to prove they're capable of it. Julie Alexander, Toronto Sun.